what is happening, guys? So I wanted to check out some reviews for Dragon's Dogma 2. I stumbled upon this called Dragon's Dogma 2 Rant, Dated and Overrated. Now, as I played this game, I do really enjoy it, but I thought I was the only one who was thinking the game was dated. Um, somebody pointed out to me, it feels like a remake of the first one. You have a lot of the same mechanics in there. So I wanted to check out this video and see if I'm not the only one who thought that because I know when I said some things about the game, a lot of people would get upset about it. Oh, no, this is a masterpiece. This is the best game, blah, blah, blah. And not only that, you're seeing all these big YouTubers praise this game. I don't know if it's because they're making a ton of content on it, getting a ton of views or what it was. Now, I'm not saying I don't enjoy this game because I do, but I feel like they overdid it with this game, like how hyped up it was. Especially, um, I had it on the Xbox. I could not play it. I had to rerun it on the PC because I am I have a 4090, so because it was unbearable to play on the Xbox. That's how they dropped it. Um, it's running really well on the PC, but without further ado, I want to jump into this video and see what this guy is saying about this game. Because this is the only fair review I've seen. I've seen maybe a, a couple seconds of it, and I was like, this is the first review i actually seen that's actually somebody's being real on it. Because everybody else is just hyping it up. And the only thing they complain about is the microtransactions, which do suck. But I think there's other issues with the game. Let's jump on in. Man, I, I just can't get over how many people are talking about this Dragon's Dog Shit 2 game and saying that, bro, this game is like Dragon game dog shit. of the year, bro. It is insanely good and I love it and you should love it too. And if you don't like it, you're a bad person and you have bad tasting games. See, what I, that that is so freaking funny because in one of my Rise of Ronin videos, I said... I couldn't get into it right away. And people was like, oh, no, you just trashed the game. You don't know how to play. You don't understand. Meanwhile, I played the first one. I beat, beat the game, I think, twice. Let's see what else he has to say. The Dragon's Dogma community was really let me have it with certain things. And you should be uh, thrown into the street and hit by a car because you're <laughs> setting us back and the industry and the medium by 500,000 years of progress. Oh, my God. Well, guess what? This game is just fucking bad. It is so dated oh, wow. in its systems, in its design. This, If this game came out 15 years ago, it might have a chance of being somewhat remotely innovative. It, it just, I don't know. I just have to say something about this because I'm on YouTube and I'm looking, I'm looking for a fucking echo chamber that echoes my sentiment about this fucking video game that's just a disaster. It's inexcusable that Capcom can release this in the year 2024. It is... I don't hate the game. He sounds like he really dislikes the game. He's inside of his opinion. He probably was expecting more out of it. I, when I seen the Cyclops again, I was like, wow, again. And the Goblins, I was like, shit, again. But uh, let's see what else he has to say. He's really going in on this. And, and I appreciate it. He's showing that he has um, balls to actually uh, speak his mind on this, which is awesome. In fucking excusable. And I'm not even talking about the MTX, bro. You know, I'm not, oh, bro. No, bro. My cousin has an RTX 4090 with the 7800X3D, and he's playing this game in 4K with no DLSS and ray tracing turned on, and it's literally perfect in every single way. You need a better computer, or you're a bad person. I'm not even talking about that. Oh, I don't oh, agree with that. Look, you gotta understand, mate. You gotta find all the items. You, you, you can find them in the game, bro. It's not about the microtransactions, bro. You know, Capcom, they gotta pay the bills, mate. You gotta keep the servers running for their porn system, mate. You know, that's how it is, mate. You gotta pay $2 to rename your character so that they can run some servers in the cloud. I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about a few basic examples of why this game has a terrible gameplay loop and it has systems that just do not work for it as a game, right? Let's just start with the inventory system. Why in the fuck does Capcom think that it is appropriate and fitting to just take the Resident Evil inventory system and add some more rows to it and some more columns to it? Yeah, guys, I don't know if you noticed that too. I noticed, I was like, this is like Resident Evil. Uh, I'm not sure what I did that. And also I wanna say the combat to me felt dated as well, but it was still good, I'm not gonna lie. I still enjoy it. That is not going to work in this game. It is not gonna fly. You have a UI where it's literally, you have all of your characters on the left-hand side and all of your inventory items on the right-hand mm -hmm. side. But the interactions with each item is just copy-pasted from Resident Evil. So think about this, right? You're Leon S. Kennedy. You don't need to give items to other fucking things, other players, other characters, right? Okay, maybe you got to heal Ashley, but, you know, that's besides the fucking point. Yeah, that Ashley is was annoying. That is not going to work when you have to manage your inventory weight, 
okay? A dated ass design decision from 10 fucking years ago. Did Capcom not pay attention to ARPGs since fucking Dark Souls or Demon Souls? When it was uh, obviously abundant that encumbrance from inventory was a pain in the ass and an anti-fun, just a noob punish fucking design decision. You're at the start of the game. You have no encumbrance. Oh, you picked up one basic camp kit. All right, your character is moving about as fast as an elephant in fucking mud. I agree with that because you have a little bit on you and you're stuck. I was giving it to all my pawns, but still didn't work. And then also you got to sprint. There's no fast travel, which I know a lot of people actually wanted in i don't know for me the the over incumbents was a pain in the balls i don't want to curse too much guys because you know how youtube is right solid work capcom now i need to go into this silly fucking ui and go through each item and fucking one by one yeah I have to give it to a different character and evenly distribute the weight of my bullshit across all of those characters i go this one click it give this character full stack and send it Click this item, give this character every item in the stack, and send it's it. It's so it true, though. So oh long my god! Just to manage this stuff, it goes to show they should not have just copy paste the entire imagery system from Resident Evil and just put it in Dragon yep. Dragon's Dog Nuts too. Makes no fucking sense, right? <laughs> and let's talk about the actual quests. I start this quest. This bloke who I just don't even know is like, right, bro. We gotta to go to the capital city, mate. You know, we gotta walk down the road together, all right? We're gonna go for a little stroll. I'm like, okay, we're going to the capital city. Sure, that might be interesting. And the gameplay loop is we walk from fucking point A to point B. Yeah, no and we fast travel. A few goblins and a couple of harpies. And you know what? Literally all the fucking enemies just get melted to pieces by all of my pawns and the quest companions. I might as well just stand there and hold my nuts and just let them do the work because there is no need for me to be involved at all in this experience. It is so fucking boring and teaches me nothing about the gameplay. What's more is every now and then the game will enter a cutscene and the character who is leading you on the quest will be like, oh, bro, there's a fucking cart. I can't find oh it. Oh, my God. Go this way. And then the cutscene ends and the gameplay resumes. Why did that cutscene need to happen? Has Capcom or whoever designed this game at Capcom? To that point, I kept getting pointed at a ladder. My point was like, there's a ladder there. Let's climb up top. There's a ladder. I'm like, where in the hell is this ladder? I'm looking around, looking around, looking around. Maybe I need glasses. I don't know. Not looked at how NPC dialogue can and should be delivered to the player without interrupting gameplay. Yeah. I mean, shit. Last of Us Part 1. Fucking, how old's that game now? 50 billion years old? That game... Delivered and remade a hundred times. While you were just, oh, I don't know, walking through the world and looking at stuff. And sure, Dragon's Dogma 2 definitely does that, but it also interrupts you from moving and plays a tiny 10-second, totally irrelevant and useless cutscene that conveys exactly zero information to you. Talking about conveying information, Often your pawns will just be like, oh, wow, oh, 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 there's a chest over there, bro. See? Oh, go and, get it. Oh, oh, oh. and you're like, oh, okay, man. But you haven't actually shown me where the chest is. What would be useful is if you walked to the chest or maybe a map marker appeared because my companion has noticed it, which would definitely help appreciate the role oh, of the God. pawn just a little bit more, maybe just a little bit more, you know, and then I could go and get the chest. But at this point, it just it's totally vague and you don't even know where the fuck it is. Yep. Speaking of appreciating the pawns, your relationship to your relationship to them, it should just be called a relationship, not a relationship. Guys, let me know in the comments if you see that too. Like your pawn will point out something and you cannot find it. I'm I'm telling you, I swear I heard there's a ladder. Let's explore up top like 50 times. I'm either blind or I suck really bad. It's probably both, but I could not find that ladder for the life of me. I'm like, where is this ladder? I give up. That's what I was like. Relationship because you do not have any understanding of who they are as a person. And in this day and age, I don't think that's going to work. You can argue, oh, yeah, but you're the arisen and they're just your little plebeian slaves. Maybe mm. you can tell them what to do and then they'll come along and they'll wipe your ass for you if you can't reach around and get that job done back there. I have to tell you, the, the surface level transient relationship you form with them does not work in this day and age, especially when you consider Baldur's Gate 3 and Final Fantasy VII Reboot. True, Those two true. games, relatively recent games, both have the same premise of you're in a party, you've got companions, and you build these amazing relationships with them, and you understand and appreciate them as characters. 
And Dragon's Dogma 2 is going way, way back, back in time. Yeah. To a point in time where you just literally don't care about the characters. It's like fucking Skyrim. And what's it, that, that Sheila that the Jarl gives you at the start? You just don't even care about this, this character. You literally do not give a shit. And the fact that you don't give a shit means that you don't appreciate the things that they contribute to the combat. Even if you were to go in and uh, examine the mechanics, you just, on a surface level, you can't appreciate their role in the gameplay loop because you don't appreciate them as characters. Oh, wow. <clears throat> oh, man, I just had to get it out there. I just don't understand how this game... I agree with that with the pawn. Like, I, I really didn't care. It, it's nothing like Baldur's Gate 3. I felt like Baldur's Gate 3 was a little bit ahead of this. I enjoyed the combat more in here because Baldur's Gate isn't my kind of combat game. I do like it, though. I never really played those type of games before, but this felt a little bit behind it in that sense. Uh, especially, like you were saying, with how the characters are not explained, so... I, I could definitely see that one. I never really even thought of that. Like, I didn't really care. Game like, I guess that's the point. Suddenly taking the world by storm. If you're like, oh my god, bro, this game is like game of the year. Holy shit, fucking hell! Oh my god, I just can't wait to fucking wrap my balls all over it and just <laughs> stretch my nuts back up through my ass crack and wear it like a hoodie over my head. You know. So let me know your thoughts. Tell me how wrong I am. I would love to hear it. But as it stands, this game is literally a disaster. Guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Are we being over the top? Are we wrong? He said, especially let him know if he's wrong, because he definitely sounds like he don't like it. I'm, um, I would say I do enjoy it, but I was expecting a lot more from it. And and the fact is, I had to buy it twice because on the Xbox I couldn't get a refund, and I just couldn't play. And then I had to get it on PC, which might have been my own fault. So I should have got it on PC first. But let me know what you think, guys. Is this game of the year? I don't believe it's game of the year with um final fantasy i really love final fantasy rebirth I'd like to know your thoughts on this guys if you're enjoying it or you skip this all together for sure guys i'd like to know um he's definitely was ranting a lot which he's entitled to his opinion but i could see where it's dated one person pointed out to me and it's stuck that this just felt like a remake of part one but let me know again guys what you think in the comments am i wrong am i overthinking it is this a masterpiece i'd like to know what you guys think catch you in the next one